So finally we made it into full production. All right, we've got our engine and we're ready to do this for real. Why did we make the engine in the first place? Well, since it was customized with the RE in, RE in mind, we of course needed to make enhancements in photogrammetry, but we also wanted it to push what we could do, not only technologically, but also make our teams be able to produce more in a more efficient way. This would make things easier for all of us. We couldn't continue doing things in full production in the same way we did in pre-production. So we made a few key changes. Reviews would happen early and before we implemented ideas. We moved to a waterfall system and carefully thought about how we would incorporate the good ideas that were born out of pre-production, like what I just mentioned. The overall dev process worked something more traditional, like build, review, revise, iterate, rinse and repeat kind of stuff. So Takuchi-san's back, this time with some ominous yet encouraging words. He wanted Koshi and the team to really push things and make something special. Except there's one other thing that he really, really wanted them to do. Not delay the game. So ship dates would not change. With that, we started to change things up and try to make things interesting. We wanted to actually bring things even forward even more. So what could we do? One of the ideas was the split paths with Zoe and Mia. Keeping with the scope of less is more our, and our fast approaching deadlines, we wanted to have something that made players feel like they were making a critical decision, but also something that wouldn't be so involved that it would delay the project. We settled on having the decision affect part of the story, even though the outcomes led the player into more or less the same direction. The chainsaw battle with Jack was another example of a design de decision that would be a challenge, but also something that left a strong impression. Knowing our limitations helped the team to get more creative in their approach. We kept things positive and set our sights on the goal. So, Koshi felt the need to sometimes ignore common ideologies with regards to level design. Take the Jack can, uh, character, for example. In traditional design, you would have a learning curve, carefully teaching players how to use weapons. Though with our Jack battle, players are, are given a chainsaw and expected to fight immediately. In another battle, you have a knife and a gun, and both are fairly ineffective against him. So your last resort is to get in a car and try something there. Jack himself, both physically and gameplay-wise, transforms. And the only consistent piece is that he's still just batshit crazy. Getting this to work was a very arduous process. And Koshi is indebted to the team for doing their best to work against the conventional wisdom. So were the devs scared? Yeah, yeah, we were scared at first. And then we got numb to it. And then worried. And then we tried changing stuff because we thought it wasn't good. And then we got stress and more stress. So what was important was to do constant user testing. We had to make sure that it was objective. We needed to know that things were scary and we were starting to get numb to it. So it was important to get an extra set of eyes. See, these are some of the other things that we looked at with user testing. It was important to keep the balance between that sense of anxiety and fear and also the sense of calm. You didn't want too much of one or too much of the other. Also the periods of stress. You didn't want the player constantly stressed, but you also wanted him to feel that sense of fear. And of course, balancing the timing of, it of, of procuring items or, or ammo or guns that needed to be all balanced out so you didn't have too much and it was too easy or too little and making it too hard. And very, very important as well was motivating, motivating the player to make them feel like they were achieving certain goals and moving forward. But after all of that, what's the most important thing 
or at least in terms of what we think is the most important thing? Having fun while creating. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. And yeah, it's important that we laugh a lot. Right now, the team is back at home, hard at work, working on some extra DLC, and trying to implement new ideas into that as well. We want them to stay as creative as possible and try new and different interesting ideas. Next thing we have coming up does use a legacy character. Well, hopefully we can turn it into something that the fans will enjoy. <laughs>